So I want to show you how we're going to be doing the binding for our little journals that we made. So here's the here's going to be the mini album part. I haven't put in the pages yet. Flip it over. This is going to be the spine for the journal part. And then this will be the front page. And then you open it up. And then we're going to have these elastic um, cords for our binding. Now, I made a major mistake and I tried to fix it. So this is the inside. This is where the our little um, signatures are going to be going. What I wanted was these little holes down here. I used um, the punch, this, this punch, and I used the, the one, the small one, the small, the one eighth inch punch. Since this is eight and a half and our signatures are eight, I measured it off at a, a quarter an inch up here and a quarter an inch down from here. And I drew a line and I put my dots of where I want it to do my circle punch. I got this one down here perfect. You can see it's perfect. This one up here, I, I, I didn't show you because I covered it up. Um, one came way down. I'm not sure what happened because I, I measured it and it just came out wrong. So I had to fix it. And I had to fix it by using the, the bigger punch the whatever size that is, the 3 16th inch punch, and it screwed everything up because now I was down below where the edge of this signature would be. So hopefully when you do it, you will get both of them like this. That looks so nice. And I had to use an eyelet to cover up this whole mess because I had punches all over different sizes. So it was just a mess. So this is the inside, this is the outside. So the outside I just covered with a strip of this paper from um, the 12 by 12. I just fit that in here. I backed it with the solid cranberry and it just fits in this three quarter of an inch spine. And then I used eyelets. If I could have, if I would have done this, uh, if I had other eyelets, I would have used other eyelets. I only had the silver eyelet of that size that had a washer because I didn't want the back of this to be rugged or rough. Because you know, when you use this, Half the time when it splays out here, it's rough. And you are going to be having this rubbing against it. I didn't want to have any roughness, so I had a washer so it keeps it nice and smooth back here. I would have used the antique brass back in here, but I didn't have it. I just had the silver. So it's the silver. But let me show you, I'm blabbing on a lot. Let me show you how you're going to be putting this um, cord in. So let me untie it. So what I have is this two millimeter um, elastic cord. It's really strong. It frays a little bit, but not too bad. And it's strong. So I want, there's lots of one millimeter cord that's thin and it'll stretch out over time. Um, um, I just wanted something stronger and I just got black. Not the best color, but black. So what you do is you just cut like one, two, cut it. You'll get something like this. And then let's see if I could do this right. You thread it, get your two holes and I'm going to thread it from the bottom. You go down through this bottom hole. To the inside and then you're going to go up through the top hole 
So now you have it like this. There it is on the back side, like that. So up through the top hole, and then you're going to go over to the next hole on the top, and then you're going to go back down, go back down through the bottom hole at the bottom, through the bottom hole at the bottom, through the bottom hole down here. So that's going to be your two um, for your two signatures. Turn it over, pull it real taut. You want these to be tight. You want them. So just pull it till you get it to the tightness you want it. You want it tight. And then you're going to do a square knot. So let's see, right over left, left over right. And then you have your little square knot down here. And then you can just cut these little tails down here. So the good thing about this is if, if these, this is elastic ever does wear out, or if you want to use a different elastic, um, you can always change out your elastic. You just would cut it and then you could easily replace it. And then what, then you're just going to put your signatures, open it to the center. We still haven't glued our middle envelope shut yet. Then you just go under here. And there you have your first signature in. Same thing with the second one. Right in the middle. And you have your second signature. One thing I didn't mention, when you're punching these holes, so this is three quarters of an inch spine, uh, three quarter of an inch spine. This first hole is going to be punched at one quarter of an inch from the outside here. This one's going to be punched at one quarter of an inch from the outside in. So that's going to give you a quarter of an inch space in between your two signatures. Just draw your line where the signatures end so you know not to punch below that line. I have a little bit of problem. It kind of fits in here, but it is rubbing. It's already starting to rub on the top of my paper here because I am down a, a, I am down about, uh, I don't know, an eighth of an inch down. So from, it should only be a quarter of an inch down. I think I'm a quarter of an inch plus an eighth inch down up here. So it's rubbing the top part just a little bit probably can't even notice it's 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 rubbing probably don't notice that but I you can see it right here it's, it's starting to rub the paper <sighs> that is my fault and I was actually thinking of making a whole new album just because I screwed it up but I had already put in my back pages here so what I think I'm going to do to fix it is I'm going to trim like an eighth of an inch off my signatures so it doesn't rub. Hopefully you don't have to do that. So I'm going to do a little trimming on the top. And what I'm also going to be doing is some trimming on the sides too. So I trimmed my my booklets 1 16th of an inch up here, 1 16th of an inch up here, and they fit much better. 
So now we're going to trim this because when you put your signatures together, this is not going to be all even. You can see some of the pages sticking out here. So what, what you're going to do, if you have a, a paper trimmer or a guillotine that can cut this, you don't need to do this. But if you don't, you get your your exacto knife. Make sure you have a fresh blade. Get this lined up. I use my my um, score, score score pal to kind of line up the edges, and this should be six about six and a half inches. You're going to cut down one eighth of an inch. just so you cut out where it's sticking out. So I am finding this back page is what I'm using because it has good contrast. I can see this is where I need to cut it. And I'm gonna put my ruler about here, line it up down here. I think that looks good. Get it lined up. Now, to cut, if I don't cut too much off of Santa. So, you're going to go the several passes. You're not going to do it all in one pass. So, just go slow. Hold this tight. One. Two. Three. I did it all three, so it took three passes. So now we have this part cut straight, and then you'll do it for this this one too. Let's see which one's easier to see. It's actually easier to see on the front here. Same thing, line it up. And put it right there. Double check, it's all squared up. Hold it tight so it does not move on. Oops. Three. There. Hopefully that got it straight. So that's straight here. So next thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it manually because my I'm going to round the corners on here with my this, but this will not do probably more than a couple pages at a time. So I'm going to do it on medium. If you have a, a corner chomper, you can do probably more than just a couple at a time. So I'm going to round my corners here and here on both signatures. So the pages, every page has been rounded and inked. So everything is rounded. Every page is inked. There's no white showing here, anywhere around these little signatures. So those are ready to be put back in, but we're not going to put them in to our book until we do some more. Um, got to cover the front. We got to cover the inside of our signatures too.